I think the fascinating thing about our company and Jeff and Kim's story really is how their beginnings continue to influence our culture even today. They are the kind of people that other people will write books about. To start from where they started and end up where they are today is tremendous. Their humble beginnings, the perseverance that they've had, it truly is a great American story. Jeff and Kim have a real passion to do what's right by each one of their employees as well as by each one of the customers that entered into one of our stores. I think what separates Russell Cellular is our culture, the values that Jeff and Kim have instilled in us and inside the organization, and I think people who come to work here can feel that difference. Uh, at the age of 18, after my first year of college, I quit college came home, took over the family farm. My dad was uh, diagnosed with lung cancer, so I was trying to help out. I handled everything. I was the plumber, the electrician, the backhoe operator. Uh, you grow up very quickly on a farm. It teaches you work ethics, it teaches you values, it teaches you that attitude of do whatever it takes to get the job done. In 1987, we met Cruz in town in Harrison, Arkansas. I still loved him, even though he was wearing his turkey farm uniform, which was black rubber boots, cut off sweatpants, and a holy t-shirt. And he smelled really bad too. I cannot emphasize how bad turkey farmers might smell at the end of the day. We were married a year later. Jeff's dad passed away in 1992. After that happened, Jeff started working in Harrison at Alltel Landline. In uh, 1993, Kim and I decided it was time to move the family to Springfield. We just wanted to go to a bigger town and have more opportunity for our family. And we actually made a move on faith. We didn't have any friends, family. We didn't have a job. We didn't have a house. We just knew that ultimately that's where we needed to be and that's where we needed to be with our family. And we jumped in our Dodge Omni one night, drove to Springfield, grabbed a newspaper. You know, I ended up answering a newspaper ad for a one-man agent and selling phones door to door. Now, coming from a turkey farm background, that's not a natural migration. But I think, you know, as, as a father and a husband, you, you just do whatever it takes to make a living. And I knew how much money I needed to bring in, and I thought, you know, I can learn how to do this. I can learn how to sell. So keep in mind, at the point that Jeff started selling phones, neither one of us had even ever used a cellular phone. Uh, back in the day, you didn't carry inventory with you, so we actually sold off of flyers. The only handset I had to show somebody was my Oki bag phone, so I'd unplug my bag phone, carry it in, show the customer this is uh, what a cell phone looks like. The guy that Jeff went to work for turned out to be a terrible crook. Luckily for us, Jeff was able to contact his previous supervisor at Altel, and with his help, we were able to get our own agent ID. We went out and bought a fax machine, uh, 500 business cards, and made some sales flyers. And literally, that's how the company got started, just selling door to door. So our first office was open March of 1994 in Bolivar, Missouri. I went to my mom and I borrowed $1,500 from my mom because I told her I wanted to open a retail store. And that paid the first month's rent, the electric deposit. Kim went to flea markets and bought a little used desk and we bought a real cheap banner on the side and that was our first store. Being, you know, five years old running around the store, setting up computer desks and just trying to realize, you know, okay, we need to have this store organized this way. I actually took the kids and we went door to door handing out flyers. To every business in every town within about a 20 mile radius of Bolivar. Make sure you come by our store because we're going to have cake. And we sold enough phones that weekend that I was able to write a check and pay my mom back. And that was our first store. I didn't realize at the time, you know, I, my parents are constantly talking about business and talking about work in the car. I didn't know any different. Even from day one, this was a family business with Kim and I both being involved and both of our small kids. Now they didn't know what we were doing. They just knew they were there to help mom and dad set up this store. So in 1995, I got a phone call from a gentleman named Darren Ray. By the grace of God, the Springfield Yellow Pages and a high school buddy of mine, I somehow stumbled into the cellular business. His wife had told him it was time to get a real job. So Darren came over, we sat down in my living room, we did a quick interview. Commission only, outside sales, that's, that's how I got started. So in 1996, we opened our first store in Springfield. This was a chance to get the operations out of our living room. The back part was gonna be our HQ support. So in the beginning, everything was done on paper. And once a week, the sales reps would actually put all their stuff together in an envelope and mail their money and all of their contracts into corporate for us to process there. In 
1999, we opened a store in Salem Springs, Arkansas. I remember interviewing a gentleman named Nathan Mendeman, 18 years old. This was his first real job. He looked like he was about 12 years old. Nathan's worked his way up through the company, and today Nathan's our director of operations over all of our stores in the company. I think working at Russell Cellular is like being a part of a family. They embrace you, they value you, they want to help you succeed, and just be the very best that you can be in your role continued to open doors within the three-state region. And I remember a referral came in to me and I was sitting in my office and, and interviewed Robert Lister. My best friend at the time just happened to be a sales rep for Russell Seiler. And we were talking one day and he said, hey, there's an opening, why don't you come on over for an interview? Just thought, man, this is someone that with dynamic, that I want part of this organization. And it's amazing today that he now manages all of our financial departments. Two thousand two was the first acquisition that we ever had in our organization. The exciting part is when we got started in the business, this was the number one agent within the region. So then, years later, to be able to acquire that and uh, build to our success was quite a testimonial. Over the next five years, we started opening stores in Louisiana, in Texas, and in two thousand eight, we reached two hundred employees, twenty-five million dollars in revenue, and also had our largest acquisition as of today. We bought a company that had 18 doors throughout the state of Ohio. That changed the, our company and the way that we did business. One of the big keys to our success has been having a system. And the system is the policies, the procedures, the organization, the support. Back in the day, Kim treated the business, even when they only had two stores, treated it as if we really have to figure out how this first and second we need to operate. So when we open the third, we know exactly how to open it. And if we have that figured out, we can open up a fourth one exactly the same way. Like a franchise type system, making sure that every one of our stores runs in a consistent and precise manner, that it can be duplicated, and we have consistency across our organization. And that's what we did. And we are still duplicating to this day. In 2008, it was announced that Verizon was buying Alltel. At that point, we were Alltel's largest agent in the nation. We had about 109 doors throughout the country, and uh, all of a sudden, our world changed. I can't emphasize enough how difficult it is to take 100 stores and turn them over overnight from blue to red. It was a great opportunity for us to work with a larger, bigger, better organization. It's opened up a lot of doors for us. It's allowed us to grow throughout the United States and to grow with one of the premier wireless carriers in the nation. Late 2009, we decided to move into the state of Michigan, and within about a 14 to 15 month period, we went from zero stores to 27 doors in that market. So at that time, we started expanding and bringing on more regional sales managers. I was just thrilled to have the opportunity to come and work with such a fine organization. One of the greatest challenges that we've had is responding to the pressures of a fast-paced telecommunications business. It's always changing. There is always something new that's around the corner. I think as an organization, we face challenges during this period of growth and during this transition from Alltel over to Verizon Wireless. And I think we got just a little bit away from who we were as a foundation, as an organization. And we needed to step back and reflect and think about what was most important to us to make sure that we could continue our success going forward. The culture here is about family, it's about people, it's about treating others um, as we should. How do you continue to keep your core values and keep what's important to you? And that's something that we've struggled with and we continue to focus on. Everybody raise your hand for a second. Say, I give Jeff permission, give Jeff permission. to be upfront and honest with everyone in the room. What was important to Kim and I when we started this company was creating a family-based organization, and that hasn't changed. To have an environment that we could be a big, small company. We need to get back to our roots. What does Russell Sailor mean to you? 
for me, the company is a vehicle of opportunity. And hey, we're just jumping in the van together and we're just trying to go the same direction together. And that's what we're trying to get back to. It's a family company and, and it's run by people who really care. We value them. To give them that opportunity to be successful. We start an initiative to focus on the basics of Russell Sailor and that is just really making sure we define who Russell Saylor is within this fast-paced business. We've identified three pillars that are important to us, opportunity, value, and team. We as an organization want to make sure that we're providing opportunities to each one of our team members to grow and develop their skills and become better at whatever position that they want inside our organization. And then at the same time, we want to make sure that we're providing value that we're rewarding and recognizing those team members for doing an outstanding job on a daily basis. And lastly, we want to provide them with a team environment and make sure that they feel that they are part of an organization that truly rallies around each other and something that's bigger than just themselves. At Russell Cellular, we sell phones, but that's not really what we do. We're here as an organization each and every day to invest in people and to help develop them and make them the best that they can be and that's making sure that we're focused on the customer experience, that we're focused on the employee experience. That's who we are today, and that's what we all try to embody, and that's why we get up and we work so hard. Not because we have to, because we want to. As we continue to expand, we've added more stores, more employees, more managers, and more leadership positions continuing to give our team members opportunities for growth and to develop their skills. You know, the biggest thing when I'm conducting interviews and people are asking what type of opportunities does this organization have, the number one comment that I'll come back with is just look at what we've done in the last 20 years. It's just exciting to be a part of it, every, every bit of it. Where we started and see where we are today blows me away and I think that's what gets me fired up about what this next 20 years is gonna look like for us. Verizon partners with us in a tremendous way. We get amazing support both in the field and from HQ. And as Verizon continues to grow, I'm absolutely certain that we'll be able to grow along with them. It's said a lot, but the sky is the limit here. If you work hard and put forth the effort, the opportunities will be there for you. I think what's going to continue to make Russell Cellular successful as we go forward is continuing to value our people, making sure that we're investing in them, putting our time in them, and making sure that our organization maintains that culture that we've developed over these years. And I don't think I've ever seen an organization anywhere where people are as connected as they are here at Russell and where people feel as much like family as they do here at Russell. Jeff and Kim's story, I think anyone would argue, is amazingly remarkable and inspiring. They didn't take anything for granted in the beginning. They worked hard, uh, and we continue to work hard today. Uh, nothing's just given to us, um, and we try to relay that to uh, each employee that starts with Russell Cellular. Well, I think it's really important for people to know that we are still the same as we were in the beginning, that Jeff is still the same guy. We've had a very simple company uh, motto for uh, the last 20 years, have fun and make money. I think both of them are important. You need to enjoy what you do. You need to have fun with your career and your job. You also need to make money and be able to support your family and take care of your household. And we really are looking for that combination. And that's just a simple philosophy that I look forward to each day. I call it the game. It's the game of winning. It's that challenge. How do we get better at what we do? And I challenge myself personally with that every day. And I challenge my team as well. If I could tell my employees one thing that they could do on a daily basis that would help continue to lead this organization forward, it would be 100% execution with each individual customer. Qualifying the customer, finding out about their needs, and showing them how to utilize these new devices and these new products and how it can enrich their lives. At Russell Cellular, we're committed to providing the best wireless experience to every customer, every time.